initiated not only into Freemasonry, but a number of other societies, they have what they call a, a preparation room. Sometimes this room is known as the Chamber of Reflection. And the Chamber of Reflection is usually equipped with a candle, and they may, um, it may have a skull. But what is the skull there for? The skull is to serve as a reminder of our mortality. Um, in Latin, memento mori, remember you must die. It's to remind you that life is short, and the time that we spend on this earth is but fleeting. It's short. Um, I was saying over the weekend that at the end of one's life, there are dates on your headstone, the date that you were born and the date that you died. And they're separated by a dash in between, a hyphen. The most important thing on that headstone is that dash in between, the date you were born and the date you died. That dash in between, that's where you live, that's where you breathe, that's where you love, that's where you lament. That dash in between is your life story. So what do you do between the time that you're born and the time that you die? Do you just waste it away doing nothing? Or do you spend it trying to perhaps leave the world in a better state than that in which you found it when you came into it? Um, so the skull is to remind you uh, of, of the brevity of life. Life is very short and that we are all mortal and that our goal as Freemasons, we say, is to live respected and die regretted. To live respected and die regretted so that the world has become a better place because of your presence in it. So that's what, that's what the skull symbolizes. It's not something ghastly or evil, but to remind okay. one of, 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 of one's own mortality, you know, because mm -hmm. um, before long, we will all be traveling, in the words of Shakespeare, to that undiscovered country from whose born no traveler returns. Very true. Mm. <laughs> I have a dollar bill with ah, me here. the dollar bill. And I, I'm ah. going to just, if the camera can come a little close uh, the, up on this dollar the, bill. The dollar bill. And I just want us to take a Ooh. look of um, yes. just what the dollar bill <laughs> looks like. And there's a pyramid here. I was yes. wondering if you could give us a little details. Um, yes. Um, that, you um, know, it's funny how, you know, um, a lot of <laughs> folks don't really look at their money, or maybe they do, and they wonder, well, what is this? You know, um, th the two, some of the pyramid and the the eagle, um, are the two sides of the great seal of the United States um, that actually came into existence not too long after the American Revolution. Um, really and truly, it's not a Masonic symbol per se, or excuse me, although um, there were Masons involved in the early designs. Um, the, the saying at the top, Anuit Coeptus, means he, God, favors our undertaking. And at the bottom it said, Novus Ordo Seclorum, new order of the ages. Now people say, well, it means new world order. It doesn't mean new world order because in Latin the word for world is mundo. Mm. That's world. Okay. It's new order for the ages. Um, the, the most prominent thing about the seal, um, both the eagle and the pyramid, is that you'll find um, the number 13 is very um, pronounced throughout. Now, 13 is a number that sometimes scares people. They think it's bad luck. Mm -hmm. And I'll say a little more about the origin of Friday the 13th in just a moment. Okay. But if you remember your history, there were 13 original colonies, right. uh, all located in the Northeast. Mm -hmm. So the number 13 uh, refers to the 13 original colonies. And uh, here on the side of the eagle, there are 13 stripes, there are 13 leaves on the olive branches with 13 olives, 13 arrows, there are 13 stripes in the shield on the eagle's chest, there are 13 stars above its head. Um, the number 13 is a number also of change and transition. Uh, if we have a deck of tarot cards, 
the 13th card in a tarot deck is the death card. Mm -hmm. And when it comes up in a reading, people get frightened and scared, but it doesn't mean a physical death. It can mean death to a way of thinking, death to an old way of life. Okay. It means it's a transitional. It's like a rebirth. Type, a rebirth, exactly. Okay. Um, and speaking of rebirth, mm-hmm. what they wanted instead of the eagle mm-hmm. initially, they wanted a phoenix as the phoenix rises from the ashes in, a, in, a, in, in giving birth to itself again. Um, but they went with the, the eagle, um, which... Um, is facing the olive branches, which means that we favor peace over war. Um, there are more things here in terms of the number of levels on the pyramid, the number of letters in the saying um, e pluribus unum. Um, but it's also interesting to note that the seal is on the $1 bill, and George Washington was a Freemason. 